Okay, guys, we're we're going in. We're going in. Somebody did. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We're going to talk about DC Comics' latest stunt. They made the Joker pregnant. Yeah, that's really, really weird. Um, let me gather my thoughts here. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say anymore. I, we're going to just talk about it. I don't even know what to say anymore. I have completely given up on DC Comics and to a lesser extent Marvel Comics. Well, every time you think they can't do anything more ridiculous, yeah. they find a way. They find a way. So the Joker uh, gives birth. Just because you could doesn't mean you should. Please, 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 Daddy Zazlav, just start over. Snap it, start over. The end can't come fast enough for DC Comics. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, uh, over 284,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we do talk about comics not as much as we used to because this is the utter state of mainstream comics in the United States. This is DC Comics. This is on so many levels beyond parody. Uh, so I first found out about it from Wild Katarn. That the, yeah, the Joker's giving birth. Look at that. Um, and uh, other people have have tweeted it as well. This is coming from BatmanNews.com, who is uh, is a Batman news site, and they're like, we don't even understand what the hell is going on. Starts with deep sigh. Hey. Deep sigh. You know what I miss? The feeling that when I pick up a comic, I might get a good story. Oh. Instead, I'm reading Joker, the man who stopped laughing, a book that continues to struggle to meet the lowest of my expectations. The man who stopped laughing because he had a kid? I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, I gotta tell you, when you're in labor, you're not exactly laughing. It's it's multiple stories, right? So this, I guess, was the backup story, but like the fact they even went. Wait, it was it wasn't it wasn't the main story. It's though. not the main story. Oh, thank God! But they said that the main story sucks too. In fact, oh. the uh, the reviewer on the Batman news site gives it a two out of ten. It's like one oh, of the worst comics he's ever not read. Good. They're not even trying it. They're point. not even trying. So this is the acid trip backup. The more interesting thing to talk about when it comes to this comic book is not the main story, it's the backup. This is probably the worst story I've ever read in my entire time of reviewing for Batman News. Once again, we find ourselves in an homage to old time comics. I was gonna say, it looks like the old time comic style and the color schemes, yes. yeah. Uh, we find Joker in a dream sequence at the mercy of yet another female superhero he's become enamored with, Zatanna. I really don't get the running gag here. The Joker has never been defined as someone obsessed with chasing after women. However, that's not what makes the comic insane. Joker wakes up from his dream. See, I thought maybe that was a dream. I thought that was a dream too. And then I'm like, okay, well, it's funny. It's no. a dream. Joker wakes up from his dream and find, finds out that he's pregnant. I'll repeat, the Joker wakes up in the morning and discovers that he's pregnant. That's how it happens for all us women. Now. I, I didn't make it up. I didn't make it up. Just look at the picture below. You're shaking your head in a very disapproving Mm. And I love how he, it happens and he gives birth so quickly. I'm like, man, if, if only it was that easy. <laughs> if only. Well, was what? Was written by a dude? Yes. <laughs> Clearly. Well, what have we here? I think you're pregnant. I think you're right. Do we have a good OBGYN we yes, use? Yes, that, that totally sounds like, that just totally sounds like stuff you had. Not, holy shit, what the hell happened? You're right. Let's go find a good OBGYN because why would they have an OBGYN on staff? For the, the, the male that's going to give birth. Yes. Yes. There, there's so many things to unpack here, and I think they're saying things without actually saying them. Let me put it, put it to you. You know how hard it is to find a good OBGYN to begin with? So the Joker goes to the hospital and prepares to give birth, in all caps. Then he winds up throwing up a mud monster instead. A violent, gun-filled chase commences, but then it's discovered the mud creature has morphed into a child-sized version of the Joker. The Joker accepts the thing as his son and shows him off to Zatanna, taunting her over the family she could have had with him. But oh, wait, so he throws it up? Yes. Then why do we have to do the OBGYN stuff? Because it's funny to see the Joker in stirrups. Usually you don't go into the stirrups. I mean, you go and you get an exam, but usually like something like that, you're not going to, I don't know. <laughs> this comic book company well, somebody did <laughs> I, just, I, don't even... I just i love that they, they just want to have a reason to have the joker and stirrups of somebody having, having their head underneath wouldn't it be 
Hey guys, guys, wouldn't it be fun? Oh my God, we could troll the man babies. Wouldn't it be funny if the Joker, a man gave birth? Wouldn't people lose their minds over that? Isn't that so funny? And then you like, like barfs off a mud monster and then it turns into like a little Joker. Like it's his kid or something. Wouldn't that be funny, guys? Well, this is a side story, but it's supposed to be not a dream. Is it supposed to be canon now? There's nothing canon at DC Comics anymore. I don't know, I even know what the hell canon is at DC Comics. What the, so this is like a parody of, of D, DC Comics is a parody of DC Comics. Is there any kind of oversight at the company now? No, I don't think there is. And lots of, look, lots of YouTubers have been saying this, not just the ones you don't like, not just the don't right Yahtzees, but just casual uh, comic fans, longtime comic no, fans are like, you, what the hell is if, going on? If you on? say that as a casual long-term comic fan, you automatically get labels Comicsgate, as we found out. Yes. If you say, hey, the company is in trouble. The comics are crap. The What's sales are on? crap. Your your talents out there running at the mouth on Twitter and chasing off customers. What is going oh on? Oh my God, the comics gate adjacent. Your comics them. gate adjacent, which is gamer gate adjacent, which is alt right adjacent. Which is a Nazi. Which is basically a Nazi. It's <laughs> basically you, Hitler. He you, wears your MAGA hat. <sighs> okay. I love this. Recommended if nothing could ever stop your addiction to buy comics and you always want to see a Joker pregnant and trying to give birth. Some people. Uh, some people. Squid, probably. Squid King's comment was, what is this fetish porn? <laughs> I'm sorry. Overall, this is two out of ten. Oh Overall, comics are overpriced. Their contents are either of sub mediocre work or feature the writers exposing their fetishes. See? That's the first thing Squid King said. Sounds like a fetish thing. Uh, recently, Batman News lost writer Nicholas Finch to other pursuits. He claimed he'd fallen out of love with DC Comics. I'm really feeling that. DC comic books seem like they're written for no one, and no one is really discussing them. Yet even as more and more people become disillusioned with DC, the company behind the scenes doesn't seem to care. This no. is what happens when you get rid of people that have been around for years to hire cheap-ass people, usually from Tumblr, that are basically there to promote agenda over story. I'm not saying this is necessarily a gender of a story, but I'm saying it's been an ongoing pattern of behavior. Characters are changed for no good reason other than modern, quote, storytelling. This is something you would have seen in a webcomic parody of a superhero comic. I don't think you would even seen a webcomic parody. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I'm just saying, like, I'm not running down. I'm just saying this is, this is not something that you would expect DC Comics to unironically publish. You know, it, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. And I keep thinking it, it it's going to slow down, right? At some point, they're going to realize the sales aren't there because you had like, I am not Starfire and you had them like switching out all the characters for standing characters. And, uh, you know, and at some point, people are going to be like, enough is enough. We're not buying your comics. And even if people stop buying the comics for some reason, even with David Zaslav in charge of, of Warner Brothers and cutting, cutting, cutting at this point. DC Comics still continues to publish dog shit month after month after month, and nobody even bats an eye. And if you call it out, you're you're, you're the bad guy. You're the bad guy. You're the the racist Nazi homophobic. Right? Maybe, but it's not selling, and it's going down the gutter. Worse. Why is no one stepping in to do something? If you're so concerned about the DCU and you need someone to oversee it and all this other shit, why are you letting this stuff out? I mean, maybe I'm sure it was all you know it was already printed by the time that a lot of this stuff has been changed, but still. I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening to half what you said because I was trying to figure out how to get you pregnant at all. So it was obviously just in his stomach growing because he couldn't have a womb. Oh, that's hate speech. No. Well, the Joker's not trans. Um, so yeah, apparently the mud monster's growing in his belly or okay. something. Okay, it's still like, in his stomach if he threw it up. It's growing in his nut. Oh, wouldn't that be funny? It's growing in his nut sack. And but then it would have to pop out somewhere. Why are your nuts dragging in the ground? <laughs> I must be pregnant. Oh my god, that'll be the next that'll be the next Joker miniseries. The Joker busts a nut. Yeah. <laughs> Look how clever we are. Look how clever we are. We should be writing DC comics. Oh my god. Any so better than this. <laughs> rando. And there's so many and the X-Men the same thing. Like I I'm I'm hearing like, is about Is there a mutant they could do whatever, right? I don't know. No, it's the same just the, the X-Men these got Batman and the X-Men and Spire. all these comics were like the great comics I read when I was a kid. So the X-Men have prom. They have and prom. And Joker's having mud babies. And Joker's having <laughs> mud babies. And, you know, I, I just, I can't. I, it, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are a thing. Yeah, which is so stupid how that happened Superman anyway. Superman's son has an activist terrorist boyfriend. Who probably writes comics like this in his spare time, right? That's, that's probably what's going on. I... 
Just hell of it. Why did it all burn down? I don't care. There's it no is burning down. That's the point. Then you have the, 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 the site that was made about Batman news has people leaving because they don't give a shit about Batman anymore. That's bad. Like, what is... The biggest fans are noping out. What is going on? You know, and it's like you've got Jim Lee over there. Jim Lee, who's con still considered one of the greatest comic book artists of, of recent history, right? But he's not doing jack shit to run the company. I think they got put on this court... Uh, this course by Daniel Cherry, the activist guy that came in. Mm -hmm. He was only there for, I don't even think a year, but I think because until he until he came in after he took over for uh, Dan DiDio, the you know DC was still pretty solid compared to Marvel. And then as soon as this guy came in, just everything got upended. Yeah, but he's been you know? gone long enough that like, things can change. Yeah, but I think but he, they're not. I think they're just like, well, you just all do whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter to us. And I kind of get the vibe. I kind of get the vibe that they're like. Well, we're all screwed anyway because Zaslav's going to shut us down. So just do whatever the hell you want. None of it matters. None of it matters anymore. I wish pregnancy was that easy. God. Um, you pregnant for like a day and then you puke up a, a baby. This is ridiculous. So there we go, guys. The utter state of DC Comics right now that writers are actually rage quitting websites because the comics are so damn bad. And this is the thing. This is their golden goose. Like if, if they kill off Batman comics... That's it for DC because nothing else is selling. We're misreading the title. It wasn't meant to be about the Joker was the man to stop laughing. This is a, this comic is going to make everybody the you know who, the man who reads it stop laughing. I, I can't. I, I I can't. Just let it let it die. <laughs> you know, just let let it die. Just I, I feel the same way about comics now that I feel about Disney. Like I I loved past tense. I loved comics back in the day growing up, but I. I, I no, I'm out. I'm out. We're going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we'll talk later. Bye.